Hey folks, Gary from the T-Shirt Help Desk here, and this video is something I put together just to kind of show you guys the differences between um, T-Shirt blanks, and uh, you can see them on uh, the model. I had one of my friends come by and try on the T-Shirts just so you can see, uh, or at least get an idea of how the T-Shirts would fit. Um, I do a couple of measurements and we show um, the hang tags on the inside and um, we kind of tell you about the hand feel of the actual garment so I hope this helps um, some of you may be on the fence you know um, a really uh, a good thing to do is if you can find a t-shirt manufacturer and buy some samples of each these are by no means all of the t-shirt blanks these are just some of the more popular ones so um, I hope this video is of some use to you guys okay on to the video thanks a lot for watching okay this is the neon um, the V is a little bit too deep for my taste, so if you go to American Apparel and you see this neon by American Apparel, I mean, you'll see it on the model, and if that's something that you like, I say go for it. It is a really nice, soft, very soft hand feel, uh, and what is in this bad boy? It doesn't say. Made in America. Let me see if I can find that. But there's another label that gives the. It's Okay, here we go. Right here, down here at the bottom. One is 50. This is 50. You can't. You're probably not going to be able to read that. But it's 50 50, guys. 50 50 polyester cotton. But it's still nice and soft. Profile. All right, here we go. This is a this is a neon from American Apparel. Hold your arm out. It's a put your arm down. It's not too close to the body. It's not too tight. Put your arm down. From the cuff to the shoulder. On a size large, it's about seven inches. Turn to the side. The cap of the sleeve comes over the top of the shoulder. And the sleeve length is about eight inches. Turn around. See how the back fits. Turn all the way around. And it's got a long V-neck. Really long, a little bit too long if you ask me. Thank you. Make sure. Of course, this is the like right about now, this is the Cadillac of the t-shirt industry these days. This is the American Apparel t-shirt made. I don't know if you guys can see that made in the USA and it is 100% cotton. I don't know if this is a rung spun cotton or not, but I mean, American Apparel guys, you know, you know what it is. Profile. Back. 
turn a little bit more. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. right there. Towards the camera. Okay, this is a classic American apparel. It's got a nice fit. It's a little bit tapered to the body. Nice fit, nice athletic cut. The, from the collar to the cap of the sleeve on this one is six inches. That's about an inch left. And from the cap of the sleeve down on the sleeve, it's about eight and a half inches. Uh, this is one of the best selling t-shirts for people to get into the t-shirt game. It's got a nice, nice soft hand to it. How does it feel? It's good. Here we go. I mean, this is a uh, old reliable right here, man. I grew up on this brand right here. This is uh, Fruit of the Loom, 100% cotton, you know, it's a nice, I mean, it's it's nowhere near as soft as an American apparel for hand, for hand feel, but you wash it, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a great t-shirt, this is the type of t-shirt that, you know, we all grew up on, okay, hanging, I mean, uh, Fruit of the Loom, size large, you know, classic. Back view. Front. This is the classic Fruit of the Loom. It's not as soft as the American Empire. It's a little bit rougher. Touch it, tell me how, how, how it feels. Different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not the same quality as American Apparel, but you know, it's cool nonetheless. And it's great for a startup company. You, you just start out because hey, uh, Fruit of the Loom is not that expensive, so we're going to do, and you see the cut is similar to the other cut. It's not as an athletic cut. It's not as close to take it to the body, but it's nice nonetheless. It's fit. Yeah, it's nice fit, exactly. Uh, and from the collar to the cap of the sleeve, it's about six and a quarter. And from the cap of the sleeve, the sleeve width is seven and a half. This is Hanes Authentic. It's a heavier weight cotton. Not quite as soft, but just a nice, good, you know, nice, good, healthy t shirt. And it is 100%, uh, 100%, 100% cotton. And this is what I'm saying one of those, um, the tag is, is tagless. It's, this is one of those heat seals, you know, and this could be. I mean, of course, with this in here, you can't put your own unless you put your, your own thing right here or something like that. But, you know, if you just want to do some graphics, this is great for niche t-shirts. Sorry. No problem. Turn around. Well, you feel like you're in a jail, right? <laughs> Like the stuff loose and baggy. 
Can I say that? It's, uh, it's softer than the uh, than that fruit of the loom. It's nowhere near soft as the American apparel, but it's a heavier weight, so it's thicker. And uh, from the collar to the capital sleeve, you see how much the capital sleeve is like right here, the top of the top of the um, sorry, top of the shoulder sleeve cap. A shoulder cap is right here, and you see that this comes all the way down. So this is a much baggier spec. And, uh, it's still, it's seven and a quarter. And the sleeve went from the, from the, is eight, there's another bad boy, very similar to the uh, the Hanes and the All Style. This is Gildan, you know, nice weight to it. Not the best hand feel in terms. I mean, it doesn't none of these feel bad, uh, but it's just not as soft as the American Apparel and the G Group, but. You know, great t-shirt. This is not quite an inch for the collar. It's about maybe, I don't know, seven eighths to three quarters of an inch for the size on the collar. You know, classic t-shirt. You know, you can't go wrong. Uh, and this one is not, this one is not a rip away, okay? Gildan, 100% cotton. not a rip away so this is one where you're gonna have to be careful and cut out with a razor blade and and, and you know and if you just rip it out you may rip some of the seam out and it looks ugly you may rip all the way through I'm not a fan of I don't think that any of these blank shirts should come without rip away I just think it's foolish but that's just my personal opinion okay front view just stay like that Sideways. Back. Front. Okay, this is a nice spec. It's, it's, it's a little bit closer than the last one. Which was the um, Hanes Authentic. This is a Gildan, size large, all of them are size large. And um, it's, it's okay, it's not as soft, it's nowhere near, it's, 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 uh, it's lighter, lighter weight than the Hanes, but it's, uh, it's a little rough, not rough, but it's just not as soft. This is a you know, classic t shirt, great starter t shirt for a starter company, Gildan. And um, from the collar to the cap of the sleeve, you can see the sleeve comes down some, so it's, it's not that tight to the body. It is, this one is about seven and a quarter, and the sleeve length is seven and a quarter. Thanks. Okay, then come in brand, all style, you know, feels just very similar uh, to that Fruit of the Loam, it's about a one inch collar, um, this feels like it's a, a tearaway tag, which is always a great thing to have, all style, 100% cotton. You guys can see that all style and rip away tags are great because you know right here is where you can put your logo and people can look to put this bad boy on and, and see your name your brand name right here so and you don't have to wear all like I said that cutting and clipping and, and 
picking away the little threads and all that stuff, you don't want to do that. It's an extra cost and it's a hassle. You don't want to do that. So I strongly suggest if you're doing a t-shirt line that you use rip away or tear away tags. Back. Front. Okay. This is all style. This is a nice fit. You know what I'm saying? Not, not bad at all. Classic fit, just like everything else. Um, but it's not too baggy. It's not nice and close like some of the American apparel stuff. And uh, from the collar, it is. With this one, it is six and a half. And from the capital sleeve, from the capital sleeve to the uh, collar, was six and a half and down. The sleeve length is. Eight and a half. Okay, here we go. This is the uh, Delta. And this is a, a great t-shirt. This has a, a nice, it's a lightweight and a, and a soft feel. Not as soft as that American Apparel, man. That American Apparel, man. There's a reason why that thing is what it is, but this is soft nonetheless. And it is like a quarter of the price of an American Apparel. And um, it, it, this is the Delta, okay? I don't know if you guys can see that uh, Delta tag. Uh, this one is an extra large, but the model's gonna be wearing a large, okay, 100% cotton. Okay, so rung spun cotton. Uh, and the collar, as you can see, the collar is a, a thinner collar than the other styles. Um, uh, 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 thinner collar, but it's a, a really nice shirt. And what's really cool about it is this tag that I'm telling you about the rip away tag. Okay, this rip away tag or tear away tag. Um, what really makes this cool is the fact that you buy this just like everyone else, they have a tag. And if you try to rip some of those tags out, you will put a hole in the back of your thing so you have to be very careful and take a razor blade and cut the other tags out but with these check this out all right i want you to see something boom it comes right out no nothing it's like there and then you can put your label right here your press on uh, screen print or you can buy heat seal tags or you can buy make heat seals like I, I'll show you in another video to put right here, man. So these are great, great, great t-shirts, okay? Uh, Delta. Profile. Back. The collar 
All of the other had about a one inch collar. This one is about. starts it is exactly five and a quarter inches and the sleeve length is eight inches so that's it okay guys that's pretty much it um you can go down into the description box and go to some of the links to where you can buy some of these tees and make sure that you um rate thumbs up um, comment, subscribe if you have any questions. Let me know down in the, um, I don't know, in the comments. And to your t-shirts, guys, good luck with everything, all right? Peace. Guys, Garrett from the T-Shirt Help Desk, and we have a treat for you guys today. Uh, old friend of mine from high school is a screen printer, and we are going to demonstrate to you guys exactly how screen printed plastisol heat transfers are done. It's a really simple process. Uh, if anyone is in the screen printing business, you can get into this business really easy. And uh, we're going to show you how it's done. All right. So, 